we need to use a number line. Before we continue, we need to make a few corrections in the notes. If you can, at the top, if you notice where it says a closed circle indicates a point, let's cross out closed circle. And we're going to write an open circle. Indicates a point is not part of a solution, and we need to change where it says an open circle, cross that out, and put closed circle. A closed circle indicates a point is part of a solution. So if you notice, next to each one, an open circle is going to indicate either less than or greater to, and then our closed circle that's filled in is obviously going to indicate less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. So if we go through and we graph the following, the first, one, first one's already been done for you. If you notice, x is less than 2. I keep my open circle over 2 because it's not including my 2. And basically, it's everything after that, so down below. Okay. If I go to the next one, x is greater than negative 2. I'm going to draw my open circle over negative 2, and it's everything greater than that x is. So therefore, it goes up. Here, x is less than or equal to 4. So now because I'm dealing with less than or equal to, I'm going to draw my closed circle. And because it's less than, it's going to go to your left. Number four, x is greater than or equal to three. Here's my number three. Therefore, if it's greater than, it's going to continue on. Now here I'm dealing with double inequalities. At this point, you need to consider both numbers within your, on your uh, number line. So if I have 1 and 5, and I'm dealing with less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. So x is between the range of 1 and 5. So if I find those on my number line, 1 is here, my 5 is here. And because it's equal to or um, equal to, it's going to be between the two of them. And I'm going to fill it in. If I go to my next one, I'm dealing with negative 3 and 2. So I'm now going to be between a range of negative 3 and 2. I'm going to keep them open to start. But if you notice, negative 3 is less than x. So I'm going to keep that one open because it's not including it. However, it could include 2. So if my number line range is between the two of these and it could include 2, I need to have a closed circle over that one. For number 7, when I'm looking at this, negative 1 and 3. So let's do two open circles to start, negative 1 and 3. And let's look at our symbols. Obviously, it's ranging between those two. And if you notice, if negative 1 is less than or equal to x, therefore, I need to fill in my negative 1. It's going to range up to my 3. However, um, it doesn't include 3. So we're going to keep that one open. When I go to this one, if you notice, these are separated by a comma here. Okay. So therefore, I'm dealing with two different ones. I have negative 2 and 0. And if you notice, my symbols underneath, I'm going to keep them open. So negative 2 and 0, keep them open. Obviously, it's between the two of them. My x is somewhere in lines with those. Obviously, 1 is less than or equal to um, 2x and less than 3. So let's draw an open circle over 1 and 1 over 3. And now let's look. Obviously, 1. Um, could be inclusive, so I'm going to include that one, make it closed, draw my range between the two. However, it does not equal 3. And my last one, this is also separated by a comma here, so I'm dealing with two separate things. I have negative 2, I have to include, as well as I'm dealing with the number 3, okay? Negative 2 and 3. If we look at the first one, x is greater than or equal to 3. So right away, over my 3, I'm going to fill it in, and if it's dealing with it being greater than, it's going to go to your right. When I get to negative 2, x is less than or equal to, I can fill this one in as well because it's equal to, and it's going to decrease below. All right, let's go on to the next page. A few more examples. Now we're going to write the inequalities of the line. The first one's been done for you. You can look at that one as an example. Let's go to the second one. 
Obviously, let's write down our, um, our number here. We're dealing with, obviously, the number 4. However, it's everything below that does not include it. And if it's going to your left, therefore, my x is less than 4. To the next one, if I'm dealing with this, I have, if you notice, my first range over here where negative 1 is, and then I have another one where my 2 is. So let's start with, obviously, my x could be less than or equal to negative 1, comma, and now I'm dealing with x could be greater than or equal to 2. On to the next one, it's been done for you. It shows you the range in between the two, okay? So this is what I'm dealing with here, already done for you. Let's look at our next line. Here it is open at my 3, uh, negative 3, sorry, and it's closed at 1, so I have negative 3, I know I'm going to have an x, and I have my 1, so let's fix, um, fill it in. Negative 3 is obviously less than x, but it's not included. However, 1 is. 1 is greater than x, but it's also equal to, okay? Right? And on to my next one. Here it is closed. My 3 is open, so I've got negative 2 and 3. Obviously, x is going to be in between. Because this is equal to, and I know it's less than my x, and my x range is no more greater than my 3, but it doesn't include it. So therefore, I just do my regular um, less than sign right there, okay? So that's basically how you graph your inequalities um, on a number line.